Hi everybody, we're doing the current balance lab today. This one is a little complicated, so please follow along. Here is the setup. We have a variable DC supply, ammeter. This is a double pole switch, and we're gonna be using it to switch to the forward direction and the reverse direction. We have a very large rheostat or variable resistor that can dissipate a lot of heat. This gets very hot during the experiment. And over here is the current balance itself. The current balance is a stationary wire, as seen below, and a moving wire. The moving wire is on a pen, uh, pivot, and we are determining that uh, the movement by a laser. So the laser gets shined here, bounces off the mirror, and gets projected on the wall to a piece of paper. Okay, and then in the circuit we go back to a, another switch. This switch is for determining whether it's going to be attractive in the forward position or repulsive in the secondary position. It goes back to this switch and finishes. So follow along one of the current paths with me. So if we were to come out the DC voltage go through the ammeter, we go into this first switch. That switch then allows it to travel, follow the arrows through the rheostat. We continue with the arrows over here to the fixed wire. It moves down the bottom fixed wire, moves along, and goes into this switch. This switch allows it to come down the red wire over here and up the top this direction and now we are going opposite to the moving wire and back. Goes back to the top of this switch, follows along to this second one, and completes the circuit. As you can see, here is the diagram. Uh, these switches get a little complicated, but just follow along as best as you can. So for the measurement tools we're using today, we're using a small meter stick, a Starrett with the 0.02 millimeter uncertainty. This is a cali calibrated gauge block set. So these blocks are not measured, they are known to three decimal places. This right here is the 0.125. This one down here is the 0 0.250. Those are going to be used. And make sure to renote these are in inches, even though these are in meters. And then lastly, this is a very small precision mass set that you have to use tweezers to get the micrograms, or sorry, milligrams. Apologize for that. Okay. So a lot of adjustments are gonna be made using this in the back. So here is the pan here. We're gonna be adding mass to this and then adjusting this mass to balance the two out, taking the mass off, turning on the voltage, and then looking for the same spot that laser is hitting on the wall. So in step one, there is about 15 steps to this lab. You're going to be using the 8 inch, eighth inch spacer. That spacer goes between these two wires. This dial gets adjusted in the back to maintain that space. That is then projected onto the wall and marked where that spacer is going to be. The distance from the apparatus to the wall is approximately two meters, but it does not matter for this experiment. The further away, the better, but for this, it's two meters. Once that has been adjusted, you add some mass to this little pan here in milligrams. This switch gets put into the attractive position, and then this switch goes into the forward bias. 
the power supply gets turned on and adjusted until the two match up on the wall. We're then putting it into a reverse bias, adjusting until we get the same type of measurement. Another measurement we're taking is the repulsive in both the forward and reverse, in which we'll calibrate it by adding mass, adjusting, taking that mass off. So please follow along with the measurements and the diagram as best as you can. Those measurements will be provided for you, and I hope you enjoy this lab. Thank you.